Namaste. Today I am going to talk about are the insurance payouts are tax free. Usually the answer is yes, but you have to fulfill the few conditions so that your insurance payouts are tax free. What are those conditions? I am going to explain in this video. Kindly watch this video fully. So as we all know that insurance premiums are paid up to 1,50,000 it is exempted under section 80 CC and the insurance payouts which are coming back after the maturity or maybe in between as a survival benefit or maybe a death claim etc. These are all tax free or not. Welcome to my channel. I am Guru Lingaya. So my channel has completed successfully. 5000 views with all your support kindly keep watching my videos fully and subscribe my channel if you like the information is useful kindly click on the like button otherwise so now we'll continue with the topic or the insurance payouts are tax free so let's understand what is this tax so this tax is specified very clearly mentioned and explained in the income tax act 1961 what are all the incomes will be treated as an uh, taxable income and this is explained with the income tax act 1961 under section 10 and in the section 10 few incomes are exempted directly as they are not will be treated as a taxable income and in the section 10 of the class 10d the insurance related incomes are exempted and explained very clearly with the conditions. So before 2012, which are the policies are taken, it was directly exempted with a section 10 10D. So later on few changes they have made. That is from 1st of April 2003 to 31st March 2012 on or before the policies which are taken the condition is the total annualized premium should not exceed 20% of the total actual capital sum assured the annualized premium should not exceed 20% of the total actual sum assured throughout the policy term for example, if the policy is about 10 lakhs actual capital sum assured, the premiums which are paid or going to pay throughout the policy tenure, it should not cross 2 lakhs. That is the first condition. The same condition is revised later in 2012 and they have modified it to 10%. That means the total annualized premium which is going to pay for the policy term or in any of the here total annualized premium should not cross 10% of the total actual capital sum assured. So where it was earlier 2 lakhs now they have reduced it to 1 lakh. So total annualized premium should not exceed 1 lakh for the sum assured of 10 lakhs throughout the policy term. Suppose if this class is not been taken care, the total payouts which are going to take back from the policy will be treated as a taxable and there will be a TDS of 5% or as per the income tax guidelines. That is the first condition. If you want your insurance payouts to be tax free, you should follow these three conditions. The first condition I told, the analyzed premium should not exceed 10%. The second condition is, recently in 2021 February, they modified it. That is related to ULIP policies. ULIP policies are unit link insurance plans we call 
where the policies are linked with the equities it comes with the insurance benefit also in these policies the class says the total annualized premium should not exceed 250000 in an annum or maybe any of the policy tenure to get a tax free benefit your total yearly policy premium should not exceed 250000 if the annualized premium is more than 250000 the payouts of that policy is taxable that is a condition number 2 yearly policies been taken usually to have a minimum lock in period and more of it a more flexibility and high liquidity also so lock in period will be usually with the yearly policies is 5 years later on whenever you want you can withdraw the policy benefits as per the market conditions so most of all the time the investors or maybe uh, policy holders will buy these policies to enjoy this class in the first condition the chances of going for uh, exceeding the premium more than 10% is to when you have a lesser tenure suppose if the tenure is 10 years so your premium will may cross more than 10% so be sure before signing up the policy these two conditions are fulfilled or based on the policies which you are going to take the third condition is the key man insurance key man insurance is a type of insurance which is been issued or taken on the life of a key man of a company key man is a person is a very important to the company in case of any uncertainty to him is knowledge or maybe it will be treated he himself will be treated as an asset to the company for him the insurance will be taken by the employer to protect the asset of the company so usually the premiums will be paid by the employer on the name of a key man and this key man insurance benefits are taxable as per the income tax act right so these are the three conditions the first one is the annualized premium should not cross 10% second one is in the yearly policies total annualized premium it should not increase 250000 the third one is key man insurance these are the three conditions you have to be very careful to enjoy in section 1010d benefit of the insurance income tax act 1961 so you most of most of all the time the insurance policies are bought to have a tax benefit to enjoy this tax benefit better to take care of these three conditions i hope these three conditions are uh, very clearly explained by referring the income tax act 1961 different clauses and the same link i'm going i'm providing in the description box you can click and go through that and these three conditions are explained in a worksheet and which will be continued through this video kindly watch that full lead to understand for better so thank you for watching full video the three conditions are explained in this sheet kindly go through this to understand better conditions are explained with the four different examples you can go through this and you can refer the uh, link which i given in the description box for more information or for more for more clarity